welcome to the stream. <clears throat> We're gonna try this again. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, or if you, if you haven't been, you should. Um, it's gonna cat country everywhere. It's on YouTube, it's on Instagram, it's on TikTok, it's on here on Twitch, obviously. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna turn loud for me but for you that's the important part yeah I think sure go in the other room and check So let's continue. Oh no, it's a little laggy today too. That's annoying. Is it laggy when you see it?
What's that mean, Paxton? What does hosting mean? Hi, by the way. Hey, Paxton. We're playing with the gaming audio. We just can't seem to get it right. Okay. Now it's just on this. We had it on two channels for some reason, and now it's on one, so we're... I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's cool. You know what I mean? But now you can adjust it, and whatever you hear, we will hear. Okay. So you can raise it if you like. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Oh. I can really hear myself. That's going to be annoying, so I'm going to just put that right here. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now that we got the audio fix... Hold on to you, Rex. You can't go back home yet when there's no when there's still so much to do. Liven up, it's a brand new day. Okay. <clears throat> I have no idea what the objective is. I'm going to go ahead and go here. Oh, Aubrey, okay. That's where we are. Cause remember, I tried to do this stream earlier on and the whole time the sound was off. Um I want to I want to make a statement that's controversial controversial yet yeah, brave but OBS is a piece of shit and that's all there is to it <laughs> oh okay cool thanks Pax Paxton I don't know what what hosting means but thank you I'm gonna assume it's positive <laughs> hold up T-Rex we should see how Aubrey's doing first all right, um, Aubrey lives right over here. Oh no, she doesn't, she lives on this side, I'm lying to you. Oh yeah, she lives in this weird little house. Hang on. It's right over here by the church. Yeah, here we go. So just to catch you guys up, Aubrey, she's at home, but she's not answering her door, and her friends are very concerned. So, don't look so down, Kim. Everyone has bad days. You know Aubrey always bounces back. Okay. So, let's figure out what's going on with Aubrey. Aubrey. Hello? Sorry. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello? Aubrey? Is anyone home? Hello? Oh, it looks like the door was open. Let's go inside. Okay. So this is a mess. Got it. Aubrey's mom refuses to say anything. Okay. All right. I'm going to take these off. Oh, look, it's stuck to my earring. Awesome. One of the reasons why I don't like open earrings. There, now this feels more, more natural. All right, so sh that's the bathroom. She's not in there. Here's Aubrey. There we go. And she has her Captain Space Boy poster on the wall like that. Hey, Aubrey, how are you feeling? What the heck are you guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room. We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. Aubrey's pissed, if you guys wanna know. All right. Clearly she's pissed. I'm fine. No, Aubrey, I think you're pissed. I've been hearing some things, but I just wanna hear it from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake. She might have had a good reason, we don't know. 
You know he can't swim. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Just for context, they all used to be really good friends when they were kids. But life happened and now they're not so close anymore. Oh, and a death happened. So that's pretty big. Well, you're the one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it is my business. You, you and Basil and everyone here, you were my best friends. All right, all right. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Cal and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Aubrey doesn't look like she's going to want to say sorry. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. Mari, Mary, let's call her Mary. I don't like Mari. They're all I have left of her. But you know, it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. T-Rex has them right now. I'm T-Rex. For context, I'm T-Rex. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and T-Rex. You really dug through my trash for this thing. <laughs> That's kind of gross. Aubrey, let's put Mary's photo back into the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. All right, so the mood's lightened up. That's good. All right. So here we're going to play a nice little matchy-matchy game. Mmm. Yum. Come on, guys. We should do this together. I wasn't anticipating an ice escaping into my mouth, so I'm sorry about that. My husband made me this lovely coffee. And he put, um maple syrup in it oh there it is okay this is how we know <clears throat> so um this photo album basil is obviously one of their friends who's not here at aubrey's house house with us right now um because he's at the hospital um, with his grandma who is not doing well. Um, but this photo album belongs to him. And these are all pictures from when they were kids. And he kept the photo album this whole time. Uh, from what I gather, they are teenagers right now. And Hero, who is the oldest one, which happens to be Kel's brother, is visiting from college. So there you go. Just a little backstory there. Mm -hmm. But uh, like I was saying before, they used to be very good friends. <clears throat> but life happened, you know... Um, Basil's grandma got sick, of course, Mary died, uh, which was a friend of theirs, like she was in their friend group as well, and, uh, and once Mary died, Amori, which, or T-Rex, as you probably know him as, because that's the main character, um, he became a, like a hardcore recluse, like, so that's the premise of this story. The I guess the reality part of this game is that this is the first time Amori's been outside 
and talking to anyone but his mother in four years since his um, since his sister passed away. And as luck would have it, uh, this is the day that our main character's mom is coming by to pick us up. So this is, I want to say this is our last day here, um, hanging out with them before we have to leave. So that's a little backstory, but like I was telling you, I really think Basil did something messed up because in the all like the alternate universe that is our main characters um dream world you know the, the little place in his head that he escapes to basically um he is he's often depicted like as a shadow figure and just a person that's like very regretful of something like his dialogue indicates that he's regretful of something and that some there's something about Mary's death that haunts him and I don't know if I'm reading too much into it but like I just feel like he did something fucked up and it, the, whatever fucked up thing he did has to do with Mary but we have yet to know what it is and <laughs> if I find out by the time we finish this game that I was just paranoid in the end then I'm gonna have to self-evaluate because <laughs> like I am really like wanting to blame this kid for something Okay, we are almost finished. Where did this one go? I don't... Oh, right here. Okay. All right, two more left to go. Oh, I just passed it up. And one more. Okay, we're almost done. Yay! <coughs> Do you want to look through the photo? No. Yes. There. Now everything is back where it should be. It looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? We really did have a lot of fun together, didn't we? Oh, I just ad-libbed that. Yeah, I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. It's true, you know, she's she's been like she's been acting like a really big bully. I'm sorry too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great either. Yeah, throwing accusations around like I am right now. All right, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on, hero, not now. You're so embarrassing. I'm good, thanks. All we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Kel, I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now let's get you out of this house. Hmm, okay. All right, so let's see what's up with Basil. I'm pretty sure... Um, when we get to Basil's house, that's when we find out that he's not there. So sorry, guys. I spoiled that part for you. Yo, Aubrey, are you okay? Hey, Kim, I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys. Aubrey's here. She's like the leader of this gang. Yo, Aubrey, are you feeling any better? We even saved a taffy for you. What happened in there? Your face is all red. Do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. It's no biggie. We're just glad you're all right. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Man, a few words. Aubrey, let's hang out at the park. I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was up all, I was up all night practicing. 
That sounds fun. Maybe later. I have some things to take care of first. We'll all hang out tomorrow, I promise. Oh, okay. We'll see you later then. Don't keep us waiting long. You know I won't, Kim. I'll be back before you know it. So I think now Aubrey is best friends with Kim, which is cool. Um, but I noticed she didn't invite us. She didn't invite us to hang out tomorrow. Why is that, Aubrey? We're not, we're not friends. We, we literally just made up. Why aren't you inviting us over? <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Polly. How's Basil doing? So Polly is the caretaker for Basil and his grandma, who, has, who was bedridden um, up until now, I suppose. We were wondering if we could hang out with him today. Hello, everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's in the hospital. You see, that's what I was talking about. What? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil's in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh, no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon. Sorry. Would you mind if we check back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other, right, Aubrey? Yeah, sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See you, Polly. Okay, see you. <clears throat> so, Basil... Oh, okay. Well, I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. Sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later when it cools down, we can all go see the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey is with us now too. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been in there so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. We wanted to see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, T-Rex? What did you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah, you should decide how you want to spend your last day in Faraway Town. Lead the way, T-Rex. Okay, I want to go to the treehouse. So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, oh, the little kitty cat. So Basil is similar to our main character. He is also very, like, he's not a recluse like um, our main character is, but he is very timid and doesn't open up too much. It, and this is what I gather from Polly. Oh, wait, is that? No. All right, let's go to the house. It looks like the sun is about to set. Did you want to see the tree house now, T-Rex? Yes. Let me adjust my camera a tiny bit. There. Wow. I guess you really are moving away, huh, T-Rex? When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. Thank you, Aubrey. That's mighty nice of you. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years and painful memories that we kept to ourselves, but even through all that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy we're all here so that we can face this together. It's okay, Hero. I'll go first. All right, I guess we're all just going to pop outside one by one. Hey, T-Rex, when you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... 
Aubrey, T-Rex, are you guys coming? Actually, never mind. It's nothing. What is it, Aubrey? You need to tell us. We're leaving today. You need to tell us. This is where Mary, yeah, it is. Well, the tree isn't there anymore, but you can gather where they're getting at. It feels like forever ago, but I can still remember that day perfectly. That, that day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day too. I went out to get a haircut with dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were gonna watch Mary and T-Rex's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening, you know, even after all this time, I still don't understand why she would do it. I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's let's keep going. Good idea. Cuz there is a part Okay, so like this is around the time this is around the time that I had to stop the stream because I realized that my sound wasn't on. So, it like I realized it right at like the the climax of this scene here wow this place has seen better days but it looks like everything is right where we left it all our old stuff is still here hey look here's our playing cards I was the best at card games wasn't I guys mr. plant egg oh you're so dirty oh you're so dirty <laughs> look at all these old books so this is where all my cookbooks went. I think I just stepped on a jack. Oh man, such good times. I don't think play I don't think kids play with jacks anymore. Do you do you guys ever play with marbles and jacks? I didn't. Hmm. Why did we have a toaster in here? Hmm. Oh. So that's all of us. And this is the climax. What is this? You put the toy box key in your pocket. Okay. Hey, look, T Rex found a photo of us. Okay, until like even in the dream world, I never saw a toy box that I can remember. I've never seen a toy box. So I don't know what they're referring to um and the reason why i'm like even mentioning this is because this entire little you know scene of the tree house probably looks familiar if you've been watching my streams but this is the entrance or the first sequence like the like the first room that you have to be in <gasps> oh my god it just occurred I just <laughs> had a mind fuck all right so if you if you've been following along the game starts out in white space which is basically a place that, that's in our main character's mind that is void of any stimulus any emotion any memory it's just a little cat a room and a laptop and a book and that's it okay so when things get too intense, this is a place that he mentally escapes to, okay? And when he's ready to go into his dream world, he just opens a door and now he's in this really colorful ass place that starts out in this room. But in his dreams, it's colorful as fuck. It looks like a, rain like a rainbow just barfed all over it. So on the way, like, and this room, is underneath a tree stump a tree stump 
what did we just pass by? A tree stump. You see how this is all like connected, you know, like in his dream world and white, like it, it's all just so psychological, you know, intense that way. You know what I mean? Anyways, this is a great game. If you want to play this game, I, I highly recommend. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, T-Rex. We should add it in. Yeah, where the fuck is this toy box, though? Is no one going to talk about the key? I guess maybe, maybe they just didn't see it. Maybe it's just the picture that they're seeing. All right, let's hurry up and put it in. Let's hurry up and put it in. I am on the edge of my freaking seat. Basil's memories. Okay, they're complete now. There. Now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time we'll all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, hero. The photo album is already out, so we might as well. Right, T-Rex? Let's start from the beginning. Okay. My first photo. It's my best friend T-Rex trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister, Mary. So exciting. Okay, I know we've seen some of these pictures before. Again, if you've been watching my streams, you've seen these photos before. But why would the game tell me to look at it one more time? Like, it has to be... There's got to be something here. Or maybe it's not. It, maybe they just really like these pictures. I don't know. We'll see. It's my 12th birthday today. I thought my friends forgot, but they all surprised me with the strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. This year is looking to be a good year. Another group photo. This was a little after I opened all my presents. Mary brought me, bought me this photo album and everyone else bought me film for my camera. I'll try my best to use it all. Just Kel being Kel, so many party hats. T-Rex playing a video game on the couch. T-Rex is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I'm upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. Mary and Hero fell asleep on the couch. They look so cozy together. I hope they don't mind the photo. Mary's dad might be kind of mad if he saw it. Hmm. Hero and Mary washing dishes from breakfast. We're staying over with Mary and T-Rex this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. Kel says there's a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we're all going to go check it out. Oh. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's going to win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Oh, shit. No. Fuck. Sometimes I can't control my fingers. Oof. Sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour after losing the hero in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Brotherly love. Me showing T-Rex a book I've been reading. Mary stole my camera and took this while I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Oh, so cute. It's all of us cuddling with T-Rex's stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Okay. Oh, look how much he... Oh. Mary, I caught Mary carrying T-Rex on the way home from school today. He must have fallen asleep on the bus. I thought it was cute, so I got my camera out as quick as I could to snap this once-in-a-lifetime photo. Sometimes I wish I had a sibling. Hmm. Oh. Hang on. I kind of want to go back to the... The one where... Here we go. This one. Okay. Ta-da! 
All summer we've been working on a treehouse in T-Rex's backyard and today it's finally finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a good, pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Okay. Let me just make sure there's no other dialogue. There wasn't, okay. Hmm. Looks like I have the winning hand, but nobody knows that yet. Okay. Oh, shit. No. What was the last one? Sorry. I told you I can't control my fingers. I keep forgetting which one is which. So, <clears throat> I'm going to read this one. After some begging, T-Rex came to join Mary for a recital practice. They're still working out some stuff, but they already sound so amazing. I know they're going to be great. Go, Mary. Go, T-Rex. You can do it. Okay. Am I done? Yes. Oh, Mary. I miss her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on, guys. Why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mary would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. If only Basil could be here too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? <gasps> Is she going to tell us? Are we going to find out? I fucking knew it. See, like, every time they mention... Oh, I think I have lipstick on my teeth. Every time they mention... Like, every time Aubrey hears, like, Basil being mentioned in, like, a, a friendly manner, you know, stuff like that, she gets triggered. And, I want, and I'm telling you, I think he did something. Come on. Come on. Hmm. You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now I realize that I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mary died, everything changed so fast. T-Rex and Basil became more closed off. Cal made a bunch of friends playing sports, and Hero always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me, and abandoned Mary, too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After T-Rex stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch, so I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off, which is what he did when me and Kel, or T-Rex and Kel showed up to his house. Like, we told him that. T-Rex was moving away and he was like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. And so he runs to the bathroom and he's having like a panic attack in there. That's when I spotted this old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I just, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all of the photographs with marker I couldn't believe it. He'd even blacked out Mary's face. All of our memories together, it felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been trying to do, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did. Yet I'm the one who's angry at him. I'm such an idiot. So that's what he did. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought in my head, but... But the thing is, okay, 
So think about it. T-Rex became a recluse. So he basically removed himself from this friend equation and everyone else did too. So he wouldn't have known that Basil scribbled all over the pictures. You know what I mean? So, but in T-Rex's memory, like his dream world depiction of Basil, Basil's like this shadow person with manic eyes saying cryptid things like, you know, is this gonna like think something like along the lines of something's haunting me and we're in this together and stuff like that. And like he never makes mention of anyone else. He only me makes mention of him and his sister and Mari, which is T-Rex's sister. So I don't know. I feel like there's still something that's not adding up. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. And at that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse. So I just deci decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you, T-Rex. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel, but I'm the oldest and I should have known to take care of everyone. I... No, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's all right, Aubrey. I promise from now on I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Aw oh, yeah, count me in. Wait just one second. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. This is such a good game. We should go see if Basil is back home later today. I need to apologize to him and I think right now he's probably the one that needs us the most. All right. So when they all form in a line, that means we're, we're ready to go. <laughs> All right, let's skedaddle. Let me save real quick. Just in case, because you never know, man. This game is full of twists and turns. Oh, what the hell? That's his gr oh no, his grandma didn't make it. That was Basil's grandma. Damn. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no. Is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Of course. We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. That's what I love about Kel. Like... First impressions, Kel was a, so fucking annoying. But then again, first impressions, he was like a kid, you know? And sometimes kids can be assholes, but, you know, they're just kids. Okay. All right. Oh. Is he okay? All right. Hi, Basil. It's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and T-Rex. 
We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything from these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil, this is Aubrey. I just wanted to say I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah, last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you're also kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome. I call the couch. This is all happening so fast. Okay, then, since Kel wants a couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. Okay, but... <laughs> Why did you get the couch? Well, duh, it's because I called it first. What was that? Oh, <laughs> I guess she hit him. <laughs> um, nah, bruh. I'm trying to see a bunch of books. Okay. Alright, I need to excuse myself from the bathroom. Okay, I'm okay. Just making sure that there's no weird ghost following me. Okay. Do you want to hang out with your friends? Aw, of course I do. Oh my god, what if this is the end? Wouldn't that be funny? I s oh, she's back. Hey T-Rex. I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting, but I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. That's so cheesy, Hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. Hero's always been such a softy, just like you, Aubrey. What did you say? It's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. I can relate to that. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's a softy now. Hmm. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other, just like I know that Ma Mary's still here with us too. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, T-Rex. It'd be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Man, I'm getting sleepy. No, oh, I guess he's asleep. What the, is he asleep already? That must be nice. <laughs> Going to sleep like immediately. Yep, that's Kel for you. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey T-Rex, thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's a big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, T-Rex, after you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park or the beach. Or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Hmm. That sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come, too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. 
I know I have this like listed as a horror game, but it is a psychological horror game. But it's just, it's an indie game, so it's probably not like how you would expect, I guess. It's time to sleep already. Yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Kel. You know, this is the second time I've played, like, where, like, it's pixelated. The little characters are teeny tiny. I don't know what that style is called. Mm. This is the second time I've played a game like this. And I remember when I first got the Switch, like, getting back into gaming and stuff last year. I was like, I don't think you can play a game like that. Literally, the second game I've played, and I fucking... They're good games. The first game I played, also good game. Stardew Valley, the style is similar. It's because of just the gaming me mechanics, the bosses, the story. They're just good games. And I'm just like proving myself wrong that I don't like these kind of games. And I clearly do if they're good enough. You know, and this is a really good one. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, T-Rex. See you all in the morning. That coffee was bomb. That was so good. Oh, little Aubrey. I'm really glad she came around because she was like super angry. Is that it? That can't be it. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. So this game has multiple endings depending on what route you take. The normal route or the Hikamori route, which is Japanese for recluse. I took the normal route. Will you forgive me? I don't know what ending this is. My best friend. That's Basil. Forgive him. See, I'm telling, what did he do? That was Basil there. Okay, now he's, a okay, now this is our main character, T-Rex. Or Amori is how he's known in his dream world. That's where the name of the game comes from, just in case you don't know. Wait, am I supposed to get up? How are we back in white space? Remember this is the place I was telling you? This is a place that he goes to where there's no stimulus or no stressors or anything? Or this is based, I, I guess this is just like how it feels to detach. You feel nothing. Oh. So this is Amori and, or my alter ego, his alter ego, Amori. Okay, I guess he has nothing to say to us. Nothing but static. Tissue box. Sketchbook. Take a look inside. Oh, it's empty now. I used to have like these crazy drawings. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait a fucking minute. Is it the same word? Okay, no. Huh. What is happening? So I'm trying to open up my um, arsenal, like the skills and stuff, and nothing's happening. I'm just stuck here. Hmm. 
What the hell? What am I supposed to do? Hmm. I feel like I'm supposed to do something else, but I don't know what that is. Take a look inside. Was it all the way in the back, maybe? Okay, so I'm looking through the whole thing, and there's nothing. <clears throat> hmm. Again, nothing. Usually by now you see a door. Hang on. Maybe I'm supposed to go down. Sorry this is taking so long. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna go all the way down. Hang on, stand by. supposed to be able to break this thing. How do I do that? Oh. No, nothing's happening. <clears throat> Is he following me? That's so strange. Okay, so this part's gonna take a while because I'm not, it says I'm, supp oh, nope. <sighs> I'm supposed to walk around until I find Amori in his room. But I don't see, I just see, I mean, if, if that's supposed to be his room, I should be able to interact with this light bulb. Let's try this way. Okay, come on. Nope, it's not this one.
Finally, do you want to destroy it? Yes. So I just had to try every single light bulb. <laughs> destroy it. Break that shit. Here we fucking go. Ooh. Mm. What will T-Rex do? He will calm the fuck down. Because usually when... Ah, see. Okay. Something drags T-Rex into the shadows. Um. So we're just gonna have to keep taking hits from this monster thing. Not doing anything. Okay. All right. So fighting ain't didn't do shit. Oh no, we ain't gotta run. Calm down. Okay. Focus. Oh, we gotta calm down then. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. Can I focus? Can I fuck us? Fuck us? Fuck us? Jesus. Again? Oof. Focus. Wait, did I already focus? Ooh. Oh shit. I gotta start all over again. <clears throat> Okay, let's try this again. Calm down. Can I persist? It's letting me persist. Okay. This is good. Oh, what is that? Oh, 
focus. Is that a tooth? It looks like a tooth. Oh shit. It like changed when I looked over to my monitor. <laughs> I was like, how is it blurry here and it's not blurry over there? I feel like your life is in danger. Your lungs tighten up. <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh, I have no choice. I have no choice but to persist. Like, she's sucked down all... See, look, she's killing me. This is so creepy. That's like the chick from the ring. See, every time you persist, you put your game face on. You hear your breathing begin to steady. Okay. Okay. I am surprised that my cats aren't scratching at the door, scaring the shit out of me in these like intense moments because this is like the time when I generally expect them, expect them to you gather all your courage and learn to overcome overcome you got this dude you're good man Okay, we good? We got a better light bulb? <laughs> That's what we get. You got a light bulb. You get a light bulb and then you get a light bulb. Here we go. What's this? A photo. Okay. Where are we going? What is this? Oh, here's another one. More photos. Oh, look, it's Basil. T-Rex, you're finally here. I've always dreamed that you would come back for me, but... Maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. See what? Forgive you for what? You got Basil's photo album. What did you do? Um... Okay. What is happening? Oh, oh, what is this? What in the fresh hell is this? What did you fucking do? Oh, I have to put him in the in the thing. Uh, what? Uh. What in the 
fresh hell is this? Oh, here's another one. Oh, so I have to put him. So this is his fucking photo album. He has another one. What is happening? What did I tell you? I smelled something not right. What is happening? Okay, okay I gotta look for the photos. I need to fucking know what did this guy do? What is happening? He fucking did something. What did I say? She's in bed. Is he trying to wake her up in this photo? What's happening? What is happening? And here I was like, why do I need his photo album? I've already seen it. What the fresh hell is this? What is this? What is this? Do I talk to these things? This person is not breathing. What the fuck? Shit, that's Mari's ghost, I bet. Are they dragging her down the stairs? And if so, okay, whoever's dragging her down the stairs is using both of his fucking hands. Who is taking the picture? What is happening? Did she actually unalive herself or did these motherfuckers kill her? T-Rex, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. That's Mary. This person's not breathing. What? Wait, what's this? What's this? Mary's calendar. Today's the day of the recital. Why is that there? What is this? Oh God, what is this? What is this? Something is preventing you from getting close. Why am I covered in blood? Bro. What is happening?
They both brought her down. Why? What was wrong with her? They both killed her. Oh God. Why? Oh. Oh. They broke, it's his violin, it's broken. I'm starting to feel sick because I'm like breathing hard. <gasps> he killed her with his violin. And he asked Basil to help stage it. <gasps> Shut the the front door. You're lying to me right now. Do you want to screw in the light bulb? Does this mean I'm going to see everything? Do you want to pick up this photo? Yeah. <gasps> he pushed her. He fucking pushed her. And that's why Basil's always like going to the bathroom having his panic attacks. Cause he is helped him cover all this shit up. <gasps> Shut the fuck. Okay, now we're gonna figure out like the um, correct sequence of events. Shut up. Oh, oh no. I'm starting to feel sick. Oh god, shut the fuck up. I am not cut out for this. Oh god, I, you know, you know, like when you watch scary movies and some shit goes down and there's that rando person that just throws up because shit just got to real, you know? That would be me. That would be me. Okay. Now that we know. Oh. Shit, it didn't let me like, oh, there's another one. Shut the fuck up. All right. So Basil took photos of all of this. He came down. You, okay. We're doing this together because I'm not doing this shit by myself. You see, he peeked around the corner and he saw that his violin was broken. And now they're talking in the top of the stairs. They start like squabbing. He ends up pushing her. She falls down the stairs. He goes down drags her upstairs, puts her in bed, and he's crying. And so now him and Basil bring her back downstairs. They go outside. And they get a fucking jump rope. 
I am getting sick. This is highly upsetting. Oh God. And they, and they make the news. Okay, trigger warning. If you didn't gather already, if, if you are triggered by this kind of things, please click off the video and I'll throw up on my own. Oh God. Hold on, I gotta, my stomach, I wasn't kidding, like I am, this is making me sick. It's because like, as I'm playing this game, I'm like developing a relationship with like a, like a connection relating to these characters. And now this. Bro. What? You, dude, it wasn't, I don't even know. I want to say like it wasn't your fault, but we don't fucking know. Because they could have just fought. Oh, no. No. And there's one last photo. There's more. So that's what that shadow is. That's why it looks the way it does. But why, why was she hurting him? It looked like she attacked him. Oh God, my eyes watered up. My eyes watered because that scared the shit out of me. When I get scared, my eyes get really watery. Like I'm about to cry. It's kind of like when you pull a nose hair, you know how like our eyes involuntarily tear up. It's the same. <sighs> Do you want to save Basil? Fuck. I think I know why he wasn't answering. Shit. Oh no, he's still alive. Oh god. In what world would you say no? He was the one that helped you. My monitor just went black. Uh, T-Rex, it's just you. I'm glad you came. So, okay. He is haunted. And that, when he was in the bathroom, he was like, do you see it too? It's her ghost and it's haunting them. And 
I didn't know what it was. It just, it was that thing, like a black mass that looks like upside down, like an upside down flame with the eye. Why was her eye open? Was she still alive? I'm glad you came. It's, it's so good to see you. It came to you that day, the day Mary died. When Mary, when Mary fell, you, you couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, T-Rex. I, I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you've finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, T-Rex. That's so mean. There's something all around us now. Can you see it, T-Rex? There's no way out of this, is there? Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me. I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. No, you wouldn't leave me. It's not like you, T-Rex. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Ah, there it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from T-Rex. I'll protect you no matter what, T-Rex. You can count on me. When something killed Murray, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you. <gasps> It was him that marked, like, put all that black marker on the photos. It wasn't Basil. T-Rex. T-Rex wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, T-Rex. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. T-Rex. Don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. Bro. Oh. I need a minute, okay. Oh God. All right, I think I'm, I'm good. You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. You want to run, but I'm not. Focus. Dude. You tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. Is that, is that what's making me nauseous? I'm afraid. Okay, because I... I want to, you want to run. Like I, dude, these fucking, 
See, Spiritfarer made me cry, and this one is making me sick from fear and stress. T-Rex. There's no way out of this, is there? Now I feel stupid for naming my main character T-Rex. You tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. You want to run? I have to fucking tell me T-Rex. Am I selfish for doing this? Doing what? You wanna run. Do I fucking run then? No, it's not letting me. Shit, am I gonna have to kill Basil? Do you hate me? Oh. Basil reaches inside T-Rex. What does that even mean? Oh shit. Please stop it. So I have to fucking kill him? You wanna run? Stop struggling, T-Rex. So they're just killing each other. Hang on. Sorry, I didn't realize that the fan was making noises. I'm so tired. That's not, that's a game, that's not me. Dude. You want to run? Shit. Oh. What's happening now? Bro. Stressed out. Shit. Dude, I'm gonna have to kill my friend. See, when, before I came in here, it said, do you wanna save Basil? This ain't saving him. Damn, this fucking game, man. It's fucking with me. Ugh, dude. Why? Why won't you stop? Because he's a killer, man. Because he's a killer. Damn, look, he's all jacked up. Dude. Now what? Now what kind of So I clearly killed my fucking friend, but what about me? Am I dead too? Oh, we're at a crossroads, just like um, Basil's grandma. Your acknowledgement of the truth has come at a great cost, but it's not too late for redemption. Fortunately, you still know the way back home. Dude. 
Do I though? I thought I was stuck in purgatory. Dude. Hi, T-Rex. You found your way back home. I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts, even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay, that we have no choice but to carry on, but that's up to you. Aubrey, Kale, and here are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but the photos in our album, they're not just photos, they're real memories. Our memories, it's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close and remember what you want to protect. I'm sorry. It looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. T-Rex, let's make some new memories together, okay? What does that mean? Are we dead? Am I dead? Is this just the morning? Or am I dead? Don't forget... It's in the toy box. What is? What fucking toy box? Oh, it's Mary. T-Rex, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough, it's tough to own up to them sometimes. But you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, T-Rex. You worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching you over, okay? Watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be there. You can do this, T-Rex. One thing left for you to do. This is a bunch of stools. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, it was a clothes rack. Oh. 
See, that fucking door was never there. I knew there was a door there. Sorry. But yeah, throughout this whole game, this is the only time you ever see this door, but you hear it referenced that there's a closet here, but the door just never fucking shows up. It's the fucking light bulb in white space. So this must be it. Do you want to unlock the toy box? It, what is this? What is this? Is it your broken violin? This is too much. This is too much. It's the broken violin. What, what did I say? You got a violin. Strands of long black hair are entangled with its strings. You got sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. Wait, so why does the violin have hair on it? Did he hit her with it? so confused wait I feel like I have to go to my room for some reason I wonder if she's following me no she's not why she switch with me when she noticed I had trouble sleeping oh, dude she did so much for you oh Why is this showing up? Huh. This never shows up. Unless you're in uh, dr the dream world. Hmm. I feel sick. After this, I'm gonna... Oh, there's no picnic baskets anymore? So that's it. That means that this is the end of it. There's no more save points. That's what the baskets were for. Pull over to the side because, you know, cars. <laughs> what is happening? Am I supposed to be going up? Or am I supposed to be going down? Oh. Oh, look, it's us as kids again. Yes, I just got, I got just what I needed. Uh-oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. When did you get behind me, Mari? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. Another photo? And what's so funny anyway? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. What's this? Oh, Mr. Eggplant. You look at Basil's hand. It's a jack and an ace. Shh. Don't tell anyone, okay? That's funny. Marie's cookies are the best, huh, T-Rex? Well, here, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mary's cookies, 
Mary's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. Hmm. Are you sure you want to go? No, I want to look at this calendar real quick. An old TV. What's this? A stuffed toy with the girl. Yeah, okay. Let's go. You remembered. The smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mary made it from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. Huh. Another memory. Oh, when they went to the beach. And there, the watermelon's all cut up. So we're visiting all the memories from the photo album. Come on, everyone, take a slice. Yay, thank you, hero. Such a big, strong man. Oh, now, not, now, <laughs> not now, Mary. Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating, Basil. Sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Oh. Yes. You remembered. The taste of watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in that hot summer. The violin admitted a part of itself. I think there's still a picnic and the, res the day of the recital or the day that it was supposed to happen. Hmm. It looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just the three of us now. Everyone must be feeling sleepier after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, hero. It was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day you're going to be a world famous chef and you're going to cook for me. Cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? Wait. I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, hero. Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec, there's something strange in this photo. Hector, how could you? Hector's a dog. Oh, that's kind of sad knowing that, um... That... Hero and Mary could have been a thing one day. Well, I mean, they were a thing. Would you like to say no? What's this? Mary's cookies. Oh, Hector's that dog right there. That's cute. Wait a second. Was I not supposed to go there? Come on. Move. Move. Oh. Well, what if this is the end? Oh. 
Did he... Did he just sprout legs again? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Are you sure you want to go? Yes. That was really weird. I couldn't move. You remembered the feeling of sleeping on Mary's lap. I felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mary would always keep you safe. The violin meant it a part of itself. I just... It's hard for me to sympathize because... All signs are pointing to him doing this on purpose. You know what I mean? Like, would he do it again? Or was this like a true, true mistake? You know? Hey, T-Rex. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry, we got carried away playing with this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil. Take a picture of my raincoat. Oh, okay. One sec. <laughs> Where you fight each other with rocks. <laughs> Do you like it, T-Rex? It's my favorite color. Pink. Ew. Pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Kel. You're a gross color. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, T-Rex. That reminds me. Mary and I were talking about dyeing your hair together. Mary says she's going to dye her hair purple. Purple? You want to know what color I chose? Wait, are you going to are you going to want to dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. I just thought it'd be cute. Mary thinks so too. Hmm. I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. Hey, Kill. It's just hair dye. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, T-Rex? See, even Basil and T-Rex agree. You're the one who's weird, Kel. Psh, whatever. Oh, is there more house over here? Huh. Hmm. Oh. Are you going to go on ahead, T-Rex? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Are you sure you want to go? You remembered the sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming that you were standing next to your best friend. Knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. All right, the violin is fixing itself. We get it. Metaphorically, I'm sure it's just mending itself because that would be wild if it was like real life. Oh, there we go. All right, my stomach's starting to settle. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, T-Rex? T-Rex is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, T-Rex. You'll get used to it soon enough. Wow, this cake looks so amazing. You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Yay, thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. What are you going to wish for? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey, or else it won't come true. Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that. Hmm, a wish. But what should I wish for? I have everything I want right now. Oh, I know. I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Oh, I want to know, though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Did you want to start off soft, Mary? Sure thing. <laughs> I 
That's cute. Make a wish. These are really cute memories. I love this. Oh, look at them. You remembered. Basil smiled as he was about to blow out his birthday cake before you fucking killed him. But you also remembered as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. Damn, he's just killing everybody. What the fuck? This guy's a menace. Wow, a new basketball? Thanks, bro. No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. You bet. Okay, T-Rex, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you get just one present from all of us. It probably doesn't look like much, but we all have to save up for it together. Yeah. Me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mary and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me, I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mary told us how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. And there was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea. We all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So yeah, we hope you like it, T-Rex. This is from all of us to you. Good looking violin. It's your very own violin. We hope you like it, T-Rex. Go on and try it out. Oh. You felt the tingling in your fingers as if, as if on its own, your body readied the violin to play. So that's where that photo came from. You remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin that it scared you, but you didn't mind because they believed in you. No matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them because they were your friends. Oh, it's finally fixed, I think. Oh, you remembered. Okay, these are all the old ones. <laughs> Shit. Oh, what's this? Oh God, is this scary? I don't think my heart can take it. Oh, this is what would have been the recital. T-Rex, you're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we became, we all became friends. I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But when the others were busy doing things, you always seem to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless, but I'll always be here if you're okay with that. T-Rex, you know, we know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you, but you have to put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long as you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better. And you can be the one to make that happen. 
I want to know if this is all in his head or if this for real, for real, like real life. What happens? What happens next is going to be your call. But we're here for you because you want us to be. And we really hope that this isn't goodbye. I am so confused. What is this? Mary's picnic basket. Would you like to save? No. Why does it keep asking me to save? That's like the one thing that I was like trying to figure out. Like why does it keep... We believe in you. T-Rex. Oh shit, she's older Aubrey now. An empty music stand. Do you want to place down your sheet music? The stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? Oh. This time it's just him though. It was supposed to be him and uh, Mary. Is that him bowing or is he on the floor? Oh, I think he's crying. Oh shit. We're in white space. We're in white space. We're in white space. Hmm. I'm going back and forth with my um, headphones because I don't like hearing myself talk so much. Oh. What's up, y'all? I have to switch over to my FaceTime camera. Allegro? Whoa. Mm, Allegro? Ooh. Let's see how much, um, oh wow, okay. So I straight up have to fight him. Right 
right in the heart. Okay. Oh, shit. But he... He's killing his alter ego. Okay, I, I just wanted to see if we were, like, the same. Um, oh, removes emotions and heals heart. Okay. Oh, perfect. That's okay. I'm going to do an attack. No, I'm going to... Calm down some more. There we go. Okay, we're going to have to be a little more strategic about this. Um, what's it say? Heal your wounds and come back stronger. Um, yeah. Oh, perfect. Epic. All right, so Amori did not succumb. Let's see how much juice does. Oh, shit. What the fuck? You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing, and so you've earned nothing in return. Your friends will never forgive you. They'll abandon you, like you did them. And that's what you deserve. So that's him talking to us. Okay, I understand now. Ooh. We're just going to go full hog here. We're going to try to kick uh, our alter ego's ass. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. <gasps> Shit. Do you want to try retry? Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Alright. And now I can attack him. Now I can attack the shit out of you. Let's do that. This is a good one. You know, usually when you get stabbed in the heart, you die. Usually.
There's some shit going down in my house and I have no idea what it is. Okay, we're almost there, y'all. Heal you. You should just die. You should just die. How about that? Uh, game over. What? What the fuck? What you mean? Am I supposed to die? Uh, what? What? What the fuck? Oh, hang on. Okay. How many times am I going to bite this dude? Um, let's do this. Alright. Um... I want to know what his friends are going to say after I tell after he tells them that he killed his sister and that she didn't do this to herself. You know what I mean? Amori did not succumb. Um what that mean? What? Ah, what is this? Hmm. Shit. I wasn't supposed to do that. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing, and you've earned nothing in return. What? What do you mean you erase me? Dude. Let's do this. And then try to go in for the kill again. Shit. Oh, fuck. That really, like. Oh, God. That sucks. All right. Um. Hang on. Allegro. This one really, like, takes it out of him. Because look at the damage that it's causing. It's like three damage, so that's good. Yeah, whatever, dude. I'm just trying to kill you. Okay. And I'm gonna do it again. Come on. Fight. Uh, skill. Allegro. Mm. Is it Cherish? Can I do that? Will it give me more juice? Oh, there we go. Sick. So that's what it is. Okay. Allegro. Oh. Kill his ass. He's dead. How is he still standing? Like, I saw his life bar. He's done. Okay. Fight. Um, skill. 
uh, Cherish. Okay. Um, wait, how much life? Oh shit, he's like full on. Like, let me see, calm down. Okay, there, I restored some heart. And I'm gonna have to kill him. Dude! Uh, then, wait, when do you think about others? How long are you gonna let people take care of you? You say you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> I reacted like, ah. Like, I think he's really stabbing me. Come on, bitch. People like you don't deserve to live. You shut your mouth. Um, yeah, cherish. Oh shit, I can't do that. Ooh. Wait, but why not? Calm down. Skill. Calm down. Dude. Ugh. How much life does he have? Okay, I'm gonna... Should I go for it? Like... Because we're just going back and forth, man. Um, okay, cool. We're at 300. I feel better about him doing his little erasing move now. Okay. So now I'm gonna do this. Oh, I can't. I can do this. Shit. Oh, man. Do I have to just attack? <laughs> Shit. Ooh, what the fuck is that? looks like a, a hair a hair monster your friends were wrong about you the person they love isn't you at all you let them believe in a lie to protect yourself <gasps> Ooh, bro no <gasps> oh shit this is hard. You're nothing but a liar. And when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. Dude. Uh, this is fucking hard. <sighs> Stop fucking hitting me, man. Oh, dude. Okay, there's got to be a way to, like, stop this shit. Hang on. Um, removes emotions, heal your wounds, and come back stronger. Can I do this now? Okay. Okay, awesome. Alright, now I'm going to kick the shit out of him. Let go. 
Oh, wow. He's like full on. Okay, so we're almost there. Damn. This is hard. Shit. Um, can I do this? No. Can I do this? Alright. It's looking a little better for me. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Fuck. Shit. Dude. I'm going to have to keep on hitting this button because if I lose, then it's going to start me all the way in, into the beginning of this fight. And this fight is so weird. Okay, so I'm going to do one last time. All the way to 300. Cool. And now I'm going to attack if he fucking lets me. Shit! Um, hmm. I wonder if I can do this. Nope. Can I do this? Nope. Oh, I want to attack, but I don't want to lose my progress. Uh, and his hits always fucking take half of my life. Oh. Do I chance it? Do I fucking chance it? Fuck it. Oh, good. Good, I didn't fucking die. Can I use this? No. I'm stressed the fuck out, and I feel like if I had my headphones in, I'd be even more stressed out. This is weird to, like, get used to, because I'm used to, like, doing the other fights, where I have, like, a bunch of really good skills, and these are just, like, uh, these are just not it. These are not it. I'm just going to attack. Hope for the best. Okay, how much I how much is he Okay, he's almost fucking gone. Oh wait. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Can I do this? No. Okay, can I do this? Sick. All right. You know what? It kind of feels like every time I do this, he does that erasing move. <gasps> oh, shit. Alright, you know what? Let's just go full hog. Let's just kill him. And hope he doesn't fucking kill us. What is happening? No... Oh, dude, what do I have to do? I got to pee. All right, I'll be right back.
I'm back. Ugh. I got a cat hair in my mouth. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. None of the battles have like, la like, have been this hard. They just have not. Got you, bastard. It was a cat hair. Fight. Uh. I'm just going to keep attacking. <laughs> Skill need to do this. I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm, I'm just going to straight up just start fucking attacking this dude. There. Okay. Now I'm just going to be attacking him. Okay, I see you. I see you are trying to erase me. Fuck. Um. Skill is calm down. Going to attack again. I'm just going to go back and forth, I think. There we go. I think it's going to go all red and scary now. Ooh, he's scary now. Calm down. Okay. Um, attack. Damn, I'm, I'm hoping I can kill him this time. Calm down. Okay. Okay, he's stabbing me. Um, skill, calm down. 
see him going back and forth, and he's gonna fucking erase me for doing that. No? Okay. Awesome. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to attack. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Okay. Um, I think this is the last one that we ended up on. This is a tough one. No! I have to attack him. Shit, how the fuck did I die? You should just die. Dude. What? Come on. How did this happen? What if I hit no? I'll try one more time. I know I said that last time. Yes, I know. Um, you know, I'm going to leave the last attack, that Allegro attack, to the very end and see if that's a better strategy. Dude, why is this so hard? And see, every time I'm hitting him, I'm hitting myself. So it does none of this makes sense. See, I'm just like hitting myself while I'm doing this. Nice, I just recovered hard just for him to stab me. You know what, fuck you, man. F you in the horse that you walked in on. Have you seen that YouTube channel where, where people are just bringing their horses into like stores and stuff? It's really dumb. Cause it's like really dangerous and I'm just like, and it's not, they're not like professional horse handlers or anything like that. But imagine if like something spooked the horse and like hurt a child or something. Or like ran over a bunch of fucking people. Wouldn't be so funny then, would it? phase. I hope there's not a fourth phase. From what we know right now, there is a... There is three phases. So... Hopefully it's just this... These last two. And... I don't know what to do if I don't... If I can't fight this guy. Calm down. And then attack. Damn. See, Amori stabs. Oh, he stabbed me. Okay. See, like, even I'm getting fucking confused because I'm fighting myself.
Somebody's watching things with goats. I wonder if you can hear that. Somebody's watching goat videos. Um, I think, is there a way to remove motion? Feels heart, attack three times. Can I do cherish? I'll save that for the end, I think. Calm down. You're just not gonna let me, huh? You're a bitch. You're a bitch. Damn. This is hard. Nope. Alright. I can't just like... My strategy just can't be fuck it. I'm gonna go for it and then I end up dying. I can't do that shit. Because we're gonna be here forever. Funny. I'm gonna do it again. You bitch. All right, attack. He's going to calm the fuck down. Our boy's gonna calm the fuck down. That's what he's gonna do. <sighs> Dude, stop. Bring it back up. Two forty-seven all the way to ninety-one. Okay, let's see if he does it again. Two forty-seven to ninety-one. Two forty-seven to ninety-one. Oh shit! It didn't even go up that high that time. Shit. Oh wait, that's weird. It's ninety-nine now. All right, you know what? Let's just attack real fucking quick. He's about to die. Ooh. I didn't realize I would take a hit too. Okay. Alright. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Because I think I can only do this once. Perfect. See how much he has left. Ooh, he's almost dead. Fuck. <sighs> Can I afford to calm down? Okay. I think.
think so. I think I, I am able to calm down. Yes. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Do not, do not fucking erase me. Ooh, I can attack him now. Yes. Come on, just fucking die. Oh, is he dead now? Oh, I forgot about this guy. Shit. God damn it. Fuck you, dude. Oh my god. Your juice will not fall for three turns. Should have used that. And now I'm gonna fucking die. God damn it. And he's a full bar. Fuck. Okay, I have a strategy, but I should have waited. I should have fucking waited. God damn it. I forgot about this. I wonder if I can use this. See, how come I can't? Oh, I can! Yes! Okay. Perfect. Alright. Shit's about to get real, bitch. Um, fight, skill, encore. That way I can use Allegro several times. Good. Okay. Alright, so I gotta fucking kick his ass here. Okay. But I have to heal myself. I have to heal myself. I have to heal myself. Attack. Skill. Can I do this one? Can I do calm down? No. I can do calm down though. So that's two. That's a second turn. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see how much health he has. He has a little bit. Well, he has, he still has quite a bit, so let's hit him with this one again. <gasps> Shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Is he dead? Motherfucker! Ah, oh, dude! Still, come on. Okay, good. Okay, I think I got a strategy, y'all. I think I got a strategy. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. And this time, we'll stay together. Oh, God. You killed Mari. She loved you when you killed her. <laughs> Oh. Okay. I hope the strategy does not fucking... Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Well, that didn't do anything. Hero loved her and you killed her. Fine. I'm gonna do this. Nope, can't do that. Can't do that. Nope, can't do that. Can't. Why can't I do this? Calm down. Okay. Oh 
Aubrey loved her and you killed her. Can I attack you? Oh, he's at full fucking force. Okay, I can use this now. For some reason, it only lets me sometimes. Kill his ass. Oh shit, oh well, it didn't let me do Encore anyway. Um, Cherish, can I do Cherish? Yes. Maybe one day things can go back to the way they were before. Basil loved her and you killed her. Um, can I do Allegro again? <gasps> Ooh, yeah, bitch. You loved her and you killed her. Okay, attack. Okay, still. Can I do a cherish? No. Calm down. Okay. What the fuck? It didn't do anything! <gasps> no! Stop it! You loved her and you killed her. Uh, no. It's not doing anything! That's all I can do. Fuck! I don't know how to beat this guy. He should just die. Fuck. And now I did. Great. They really fucking make you work for this shit, huh? Alright, that's it. I'm not... <laughs> What the fuck? It didn't give me a choice. What the hell? Do you want to continue? Yeah? What is this? What is happening? Bro. It's Mary. I keep changing your name between Mary and Ma Mari. The recital that should have been
something don't sit right with me. So what, like, everyone's just going to be cool with you killing Basil and, you see what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be like, they're going to know you killed Basil unless that didn't really happen. So you want them to be cool with you killing Basil and confessing that you killed your sister and hid it for this whole time, whether it was an accident or not. Like, I don't know. Is that what makes this a horror? A horror game? That's why. Okay, so he's leaving the white room for the last time, I'm assuming. Or the white space. So what the fuck happened between y'all? Like, obviously something happened or else you wouldn't be all bandaged up like this. What did you do? I love how they're jumping. It's really cute. Oh, it can't go that way. That's a wall. So I have to go south. Oh, oh, Basil. Oh, these are the grown ups. Or the grown up uh, version of the friends. So, what's going to happen? Ooh. I have to tell you something. <laughs> Bro. And you just want them to be cool with it. The balls on this one. One more day the sun reaches my bed. Oh. Oh, that's it. That's it. So what? Like, is he cool? Like, is Basil okay? I'm gonna have to look it up. <laughs> but. That's it. The slime girls. Boy. So what, like, is he dead? 
I don't... What is happening? Oh, okay. Wait, I'm looking it up. And he just fainted. That's all. You didn't he didn't kill him. Okay. So they just had like a fight. All right. I guess that's it, man. Like we made it to the end of the game. This is it. Good job, Almo Cap. Thanks for playing. Thank you for making this game. I mean, literally been waiting for this game since the trailer. And never heard of your game, never heard of you before then. And apparently this has been on another platform before, but like I said, I've, I've never even heard of the game. And I, I like purposely try to stay out of the spoilers because unfortunately in the thing, when, they, when I was watching uh, the trailer, there was a comment that said that, wow, it looks so pretty the way they presented it. And you can't even tell it's a psycholo psychological horror game. And that's literally the only spoiler I had. And I was very mad when I read that comment because I, like before I even knew that, I was like, I wanna play this game. I'm gonna wait till it comes out. And then I saw that, I was like, well, thanks a lot, buddy. Um, but I went ahead because it looked like a scary game that would be a good first scary game for me to play. So here we are. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you're watching, I can't tell if there's anybody watching. Um, and that's it, we finally fucking made it. Uh, the next time I stream, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into um, I'm going to jump back into Spirit Fair and close that out. And then we can start the other indie games that I, that I bought. Sorry, I'm looking at me. I'm sweating. <laughs> All right. Well, if you want to follow me, follow me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all, all that kind of stuff. And I'm Kitty Cat Country everywhere, all Ks. Um, I'll have impromptu streaming sessions and if you want to be in the know, um, follow me on Instagram because sometimes, like I do have the, the schedule is every Sunday at four o'clock, but sometimes during the week I just feel like gaming. Um, and I'll just like, be like, hey y'all, I'll be streaming at this time, this time. So, um, that's the best way to find out if I feel like, sp like spontaneously streaming. All right, so I hope you had a good one. I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you guys on the next stream, okay? Bye.